If you don't care about affordable homes close to the city of Austin, Texas, this video is not for you. So just save your time, click off. But if you're one of those people who are looking for affordable homes close to Austin, Texas, though those homes are outside of your budget and you are just priced outside of Austin, Texas, one of the greatest cities in America, by the way, then this video is for you. And today's highlight neighborhood is gonna be the neighborhood of Carolyn, located in Maynard, Texas. Not a lot of people know about this neighborhood. We're gonna go on a couple of tours. I'm gonna show y'all the home builders that's in that neighborhood, the features, the amenities, everything that's gonna help you in your home buying process. Let's get started and let's go. Lord. My name is Dawson Brewer, your favorite Austin realtor. Let's just jump straight into it. So the Carolyn neighborhood is a newer neighborhood located in Maynard, Texas off of 290. Now this neighborhood features four builders, Chesmar Homes, Brightland Homes, Richmond Homes, and DR Horton. In this video, I'm just gonna show y'all Chesmar Homes. And this is gonna be a two part video. This first part, I'm just gonna show y'all the one builder Chesmar Homes. And we're also going to take a look at the clubhouse and other neighborhood amenities and in that part video we're gonna take a look at the other three builders in my opinion Carolyn is one of the nicer neighborhoods in Maynard there's a lot of features and amenities inside this neighborhood that comes with that HOA they have a clubhouse a pavilion a barbecue pit area they have tennis courts they have basketball courts they have dog parks dog walks a food truck park a pool a resort style pool at that and much more now with this neighborhood is broken up into two different parts one part is Maynard ISD the other part is Elgin ISD the front part of the neighborhood is, is your Maynard ISD which is a lower property tax rate at 2.36 percent while the Elgin ISD the one that's in the back that is at a two and a half percent tax rate as of today's recording. This neighborhood is also a PID, a public improvement district. The homes in a PID are taxed a little bit higher than if they weren't in a PID, but those tax dollars goes towards the community features like the playgrounds, the parks, the landscaping, that sort of thing. So your money gets put to really good use. And the HOA fee is $150 quarterly. And the price of homes are gonna be between 335 to 550 and above. As of today's recording, once HEB gets completed in the year of 2025, or at least that's what they're saying, I would imagine it would be hard pressed to find a home in this price range any, any longer in Maynard. Maynard still feels a little bit like a farm town, but we are getting to that infrastructure level to where if you don't take advantage of the opportunity today, you might miss out on it a couple years from now. With that being said, in today's video, out of the four builders in this neighborhood, we are going to tour a Chesmar home model. We're going to tour a Chesmar home that has been bought already and that is finished, completed, everything is done. And y'all are going to be able to see what it's like while it's being constructed, the finished product, and what you could turn it into. I think it's going to be a pretty cool video. And then I'm going to take y'all through the clubhouse, the amenities, that sort of thing. I'll see y'all on the other side, all right? Let's get started with an exclusive sneak peek at the construction progress of the stunning barren floor plan which is Chesmar's most popular floor plan in Carolyn. This home features four beds, three baths, three car garage, 2,114 square feet with a base price of $440,000. I need y'all to use a little bit of your imagination as we could just try to imagine what these two guest bedrooms are gonna look like finished. These rooms are gonna come with high quality carpet and two inch white faux wood blinds and not just these windows, but windows throughout the entire house. Another thing I wanna point out are the eight foot tall doorways, not just in these bedrooms, but throughout the entire house. It really makes that space feel larger than what it is. We're gonna cap this part of the house off with the guest bathroom. The guest bathroom is gonna have marble tops with integrated square bowls on the counter and a ceramic tile backsplash in the shower. Now, as we come back into the hallway, I'm gonna show y'all really quick this three car garage. This is a standard feature. It's not just this floor plan, but it's a standard feature for Chesmar homes in this neighborhood. Welcome to the heart of the home, our spacious 17 by 25 foot family room. Notice how seamlessly the kitchen flows into this inviting space. 
Now let's take a closer look at the kitchen island. Let's just use our imaginations again. We're gonna have the granite countertops with the deep stainless steel sink, garbage disposal, and dishwasher. When we go to the next house, y'all are gonna see what type of finishes are in these kitchens because they're gonna be very similar to each other with a couple of little light differences. Obviously, you're not gonna have the same paint and all that good stuff. But just keep this in mind uh, because again, when I take you to both the next home and the model, you're gonna see the finishes in the kitchen. These long windows not only flood the space with natural light, but also provide beautiful views of the surrounding backyard. As we make our way to the expansive master bedroom, notice the thoughtful design, including a space underneath the window for decorating to your heart's content. This room is 13 by 15, so you can easily fit a king size in here with furniture. As we make our way through the master bathroom, we have the walk-in shower. It's already pre-plumbed for that dual vanity sink that they're gonna put in there with marble countertops. Get that luxury finish in there. And this is one of my most favorite features about this bathroom is gonna be the private commode area with the door. Eight foot tall door again, but private commode area with the elongated toilet. Linen closet, and this is gonna be the walk-in closet and you could just ch check out how convenient this space is. And my favorite part about this house is the conveniently located laundry room. This is going to be your laundry room and that way you could directly wash your clothes. You walk them from the bathroom, you walk them through your closet to that laundry room, wash them and guess what? You can hang your shirts right there. Closets right there. There's no walking across the house to do your laundry. Think of how many homes that you've been to where you had to walk across the house or even upstairs just to get to the laundry room. It will also come with shelves and a clothing rod to hang your clothes on and Depending on the floor plan, you're able to install a storage or a freezer space. You'll notice that this also opens up to the foyer, which we're now getting to the fourth and final bedroom. And I really like this bedroom because it has its own separate bathroom. And the bathroom is gonna have similar finishes to the other bathrooms throughout the house. But I love this one because it's easy to stick your in-laws or any guests inside this room because they have access to their own bathroom. And if you want to, you could run it as an Airbnb, rent it out, put anybody you want in here, make this into an office, whatever. You have the options. You have quite a few options at your disposal. This guest bathroom is gonna look very similar to the other guest bathroom. And just to wrap up the final features in this house, uh, I, I'm not gonna talk about all of them, but you're, you're gonna have a fenced backyard. You're gonna have engineered post tension foundations. What that means is that the, the foundation is built very structural, very solid. The house already comes with a water softener loop and a sprinkler system. So all you gotta do is just install the, the water softener tank. Really not that hard. It comes with the Honeywell digital thermostat and the garage will come with a garage door opener and two remote controls. And as you can see, they this this builder really cares about the quality and the finishes of their work. And if you're a new home buyer, understand this, not every single builder is going to have the same quality on the finishes or on the work that's done to the house. And also not every single builder is going to have this many features inside their build. Keep that in mind. Making our way to the second tour of the video, this floor plan is called the Maddie. The Maddie is a four bedroom, three bathroom, 2609 square foot house, and is sold for 480. Now this model is just to go to show y'all what y'all will be moving into. Granted, this one does have some premium features and I'm gonna point them out. So remember in the last one it had, you couldn't see the floors, you couldn't see these finishes. This is just to give you an idea of what to expect. So as we make our way to the guest bedroom, you will notice that high grade quality carpet of what I mentioned before with the two inch wood faux blinds that's gonna come with every single window. In this floor plan, you'll be given the option to add a 16 by 17 media room. Otherwise, this room is a 13 by 11. This house does a great job with utilizing the amount of space that it has. There is no wasted space in this house. With the evidence of this coat closet, in the linen closet. Look at the finishing touches in this bathroom, the marble countertops, the ceramic tile backsplash to master floor, and those high-end 
hardware on that cabinetry. Now you're gonna see the moon, the half moon shape type of uh, island with the underlining under the cabinets. Now these cabinets are a premium feature. This was paid for along with that, that little section over there. That was also paid for if it wasn't here um, without the cabinets or without the countertops, it would have just been a blank space in between those two pillars on the wall. So this was an upgraded feature. And as you can see, it comes with the lights, comes with the outlets, the really tall 40 inch cabinets and the underlining underneath with the marble countertops. The amount of space and cabinet space in this kitchen is insane. Pay attention to the large stainless steel garden sink with the detachable hose and the five burner GE cooktop that comes standard with all, with every single home. Decent sized pantry. The built-in microwave and oven. Pay attention to the cathedral ceiling with the beams. The beams are an additional premium option, but the large windows are not. They come standard in these homes. You have an option to add an electric fireplace, which I'll show y'all what it looks like in the model home. And who doesn't love a covered patio in the back? As we enter the primary bedroom, let me point out that the primary bedroom is located on the first floor and this is a 13 by 16 space with the tray ceiling. Also comes with the ceiling fan. Where's the closet? What I love about this home is that the closet that the, the primary room focuses on the aspects of living and the closet is in its own space, which is pretty impressive in itself. You get the high grade quality carpet along with Look at the amount of outlets in the wall as well. You can never have too many outlet options. Making our way into the primary bathroom and we get our private commode and the his or her sink with that built-in shelf in between the sinks. Linen closet with mini shelf options there. Comment down below on what you would use this decorative piece for. Nice walk-in shower with, with the decorative ceramic tile backsplash and the walk-in closet with, again, mini shelving options. Matter of fact, the ceilings in here, you could add more shelves if you wanted to and get away with adding those extra shelves. My favorite feature of Chesmar Homes is the laundry room is always connected to the master bathroom and it also has extra space for the shelving and the clothes rod absolutely love the flooring as well just it's a nice touch it feels luxurious it feels like it's home and this is a mud room type of section off of the foyer conveniently located next to the garage when i tell you that this house does not waste space i i truly mean that this house does not waste space chesmar builds a standard three car garage and you will get the, the automatic garage openers Believe me when I say that there is not a lot of builders that makes it a requirement to have a three car garage. But leave me down a comment down below of what you guys will put in that third garage. I know what I would put. And as you can see, this house is already plumbed for a water softener. All you gotta do is just come in and install the tank. Very easy process. As we make our way upstairs, pay attention to the amount of windows in this loft. I absolutely love this loft due to the amount of natural sunlight that's gonna be seeping in. We're gonna take a look at one of two guest bedrooms upstairs. Now these bedrooms do have decent sized walk-in closets with a lot of shelving options. And we're also going to see the shared bathroom. It shares the toilet and the bathtub and then you also have your private sink as you can see. This is also the same backsplash and tile as the downstairs bathrooms. And I just wanted to... As we head into the second guest bedroom upstairs, this is an 11 by 12 space with that first space being a 12 by 10. And this is just gonna cap off the, the final guest bedrooms of the house. You have two upstairs that shares that loft then you have the two downstairs 
the one that's in the, the front section of the house and then the primary that's located to the rear of the house. So in this floor plan, you also have the option to add a media room and this is where your media room will be. This space will be 17 by 12 and if you don't have it as a media room, well, then you have really easy access to your attic. We're gonna wrap up the tour with this floor plan, but let me know down below if y'all like this floor plan or not and we're gonna get to the final tour. Our final home tour of this video, this is the model home, the McKenna. Three beds, two and a half baths, 2358 square feet, base price 459. I'm mainly just showing y'all this home just so you're gonna get an idea of what it's like to put your own finishing touches on this. Some of these features are standard, some of them are upgrades. Also, if you're enjoying the video, please leave me a like, comment down below, and let me know what you think about the video. Consider subscribing as it will help me reach out to more people like yourselves. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm just gonna take y'all on a tour to see some of the neighborhood amenities. Both of these guest bedrooms are 13 by 10, and they do offer enough space for you to put a queen size bed and still be able to move around comfortably. You might even get away with adding a king size bed. And this is a flex room. Depending on the floor plan that you choose, you actually have the option to add a flex room. This one comes standard in the McKenna floor plan. This one is 18 by 13. Uh, but if you do decide to add a flex room to your floor plan, if allowed, it will increase the cost and in turn will increase the square footage in your home. As we enter the kitchen family room area, notice the amount of counter space and cabinet space you get throughout. The hanging lights are a premium feature which you can add to any floor plan. Every home comes with a five burner GE cooktop with a built-in microwave and oven. You'll also get the deep stainless steel garden sink with a detachable faucet, dishwasher, and filter water faucet. The extra counter space with all the decorations is another add-on that certain floor plans have. The family room is 15 by 19 feet and features a cathedral ceiling, which is also an add-on and only available in specific floor plans, mostly the one stories, but there's a couple sto two stories that gives you that option. The large windows lets that natural light in, and the electric fireplace is also an add-on. And what I love about the master bedroom is that the space is solely focused on the living aspect. For reference, this is a king size bed, and you can see that the room still has enough space to move around comfortably. The room is 13 by 16, and the closet is completely separated from the room. Making our way to the primary bathroom, and a couple things, this bathroom features a private commode with a door, the his or her sink with the built-in shelf space in between them and walk-in shower with a glass door and decorative backsplash. Then finally, the large walk-in closet with many shelves and storage space. Matter of fact, if you truly wanted to, you could add even more shelves to the space to increase the storage. It has that high-grade builder quality carpet as well. Ending this tour with my favorite feature, and that's the laundry room. Located conveniently close to the closet and bathroom, and that way you don't have to make trips across the house to wash clothes. The space also connects right back into the foyer, which connects the rest of the guest bedrooms with easy access. I hope y'all enjoyed the three tours that I took y'all through. I'm just gonna cap this video off with a couple of amenities that's in this neighborhood. As you can see, we have a couple tennis courts with the clay courts. And we do have a basketball court somewhere in the neighborhood. I'm just not going to show it in this section. Moving along, we come across a recreational area with ping pong tables for some casual fun, along with a playground where kids can enjoy themselves. It seems like every outdoor barbecue pit area is going to come equipped with some cornhole. As you see, we have cornhole over there on the side and uh, the covered uh, barbecue pit over here has two gas grills that you can use. Before we make our way inside the clubhouse, 
just gonna show you all the walk to the pool. And obviously you can get to the pool through the clubhouse, but here's what it looks like on the outside. Look at this beautiful resort style pool. I'm gonna show you guys more once we get through the clubhouse. So let's take a look inside the clubhouse real quick. Stepping inside the clubhouse, you'll find a welcoming space designed for hosting parties and get togethers. The kitchen has everything you need to make dishes aside from a cooktop, and that's mainly due to safety concerns, but you do have the built-in microwave, built-in oven, the fridge, all that good stuff. This clubhouse even has a stretcher room that you could also use for yoga, dancing, whatever you need to use it for. Uh, the fact that this has an option and also an outdoor area too to, to work out is not that common in community clubhouses. And this is pretty much gonna be the end of the video. Now, I am going to be releasing a part two in a couple days, and this is just gonna show the rest of the builders in this neighborhood, so stay tuned for that. And if y'all enjoyed this video, leave me down a comment down below what the best floor plan was in your opinion. And thank you again for watching, considering subscribing as it helps find people like yourself that are looking to move. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.